Hello everybody, my name is Cirque and welcome back to the Night Owl server. I've been doing some work here at uh, the tree farm. Um, I've, I've done a couple of things. First off, I did the foundation all the way around. This is what we are going to go with. Got these cool, uh, uh, I don't know, these cool footings, I guess, for these giant log posts. And then we just have a little wall going all the way around. Pretty simple, just andesite and stone brick. But I think it looks pretty nice. I like the way that turned out. And let's see, where can we get in? I haven't really added an entrance yet. Um, but then on the inside, I did a little bit over here as well. We got a little bit of a footing here and a little bit of a wall as well. And then I'm going to have some sort of staircase going in there. Um, I've been kind of playing around with the idea of putting something up in the ceiling that would go in this shape, except it'd probably be one block higher. Um, here, I was just kind of playing around with the idea, and I didn't want to. I didn't want to take out the floor that I spent forever. Uh, I'm clicking too much. One thing I've noticed is like it, it looks weird when you click a lot, but it's so natural to be like, "Hey, look at that thing right there!" And so you're always clicking, but uh, that's probably not a good thing to do. Um, anyways, like I was saying. Uh, it took so long to like build this ceiling that I don't want to take any parts out of it until I'm sure that's what I want to do because uh, I don't want to have to redo it. So, But I am thinking of doing something like that just to break up the ceiling here. Um, and then we'd have this one uh, that would have this kind of shape going from there to there. Uh, and then just be the same thing all the way around. Uh, I think... I don't know, did I do anything up here? No, I didn't. I haven't done anything up here yet. I took down those curved things because I am i don't think that's what I want to do. Um, I think it just, uh, especially with such a short area, I just feel like having a curve going like that, plus you have the curve coming around there, um, it just really distorts the shape and doesn't look very good. So um, I don't think we're going to be doing that uh, I haven't figured out yet what I want to do, but that is not what I want to do. Um, so first off today, first off what I want to work on is, you know, I thought I'd show what I have done so far with all these, I finished all the log posts in, on the inside. Um, so now we have all the log posts done and they have to go. <laughs> they need to go. Uh, there's two reasons. One reason I mentioned before um, it's the fact that leaves are not going to despawn around them. So here we got a whole bunch of leaves stuck around this post. Uh, those are not going to despawn, which is kind of a problem. It means you're going to get a buildup of leaves around here. And then the other problem is that we have spruce trees growing in the inside. And we're going to have a bunch of other trees. And if you just look at it right now, the posts that we have there kind of get lost already. Um, in those trees that we have grown, you know, it's hard to differentiate between that and that when you're just looking from the outside. And even when you're like in here, it's just all you see are, you know, spruce posts, uh, cause you got the trees in here. Plus you have these. So, um, we are going to take these down and we're going to replace them with clay. So I have a lot of work to do. I don't even know if I have enough clay cause this took up a lot of wood. Uh, so we might even have to head out to the Mesa and gather some more. Well, I had almost enough clay to make it all the way around the outside. Just have a little bit left up on the top of that post. But I like it. I like it. It's, I really like, I mean, I really like the spruce wood. I like the texture of it. I like the color. But uh, I think this is a good alternative. I think this will work. And we'll probably incorporate some more clay into it as well. Um, like we'll probably have some strips going around the outside. Uh like around these rings here. Um, but yeah, and I decided, you probably saw in that shot, I decided to go with mycelium, at least for now. <laughs> Hopefully I don't change my mind, because if I do, I'm going to have to do uh, probably hoe this all up, go through lots of hose and turn it all into dirt again. Um, but we need more clay, so let's head out to the mesa, and I think I'm going to go through the overworld because going through the overworld is fun. And, uh, you know, going through the nether can just be so boring and monotonous sometimes. It's fun to go on a, an adventure every once in a while. 
Um, and in fact, I've had plans for a while. Uh, at the beginning of the season, we were kind of pushing to do all of the achievements. Uh, I think the first like few episodes were basically um, we were you know trying to get all the uh, achievements that we have up here. Uh, we went through a lot of these and. I think all that we really have left are the ones relating to the dragon and the wither and then on a rail. And one of the things I wanted to do for the on the rail achievement is I wanted to make some sort of like actual uh, train or rail rail line in the overworld that went a thousand blocks and make it something that uh, looked really nice and people could venture out on. And obviously it's kind of boring to just have a train go nowhere. So I thought maybe we'd have the train go to the Mesa, which I believe is out this way. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm going the right way. Uh, so I think that's a project that I want to do uh, fairly soon. Not sure when we'll get around to it. Maybe after the tree farm, but we might have some other stuff get in the way. Um, but yeah, I want to make it... I mean, I want to make it really simple because it's going to be very long. So it's not going to be like super detailed, but I do want some sort of train, like some train design that looks good some rail design and i'll probably have it repeat like every 10 blocks so that it's really easy there's there's these fence posts around here and i have no idea who did this <laughs> but it seemed like someone was marking out uh some area uh i'm pretty sure i even asked like who did this in the chats in our chats and no one uh responded so if any of you night owls are watching if you know whose fences the, uh, these are i'd kind of like to know because if I do do the rail line, it's going to kind of come through this area um, to get to the Mesa. So I don't want to impede on anyone's um, anyone's area, anyone's claimed region. Um, but yeah, so I want to like maybe just do like something that repeats every 10 or 20 blocks. Probably 10 would be the easiest because then all I'd have to do like to make sure that matches up. I could even start it in like different areas. And I just have to make sure that the coordinates, you know, it starts on a zero for the last digit. Uh, but that'd be a pretty cool thing. And then, you know, instead of riding through the nether where you just have this tunnel of netherrack, which is kind of boring. Or, you know, you could make some fancy tunnel. But instead of that, you actually get to go through the overworld and see all these sites. See all the trees and the animals and the open spaces. And I think it'd be a pretty cool ride. Plus, you get the achievement as a little uh, side thing. Pink sheep, pink sheep, I found a pink sheep. I can't, I don't know if this is the first pink sheep I've found in Minecraft, but I know I have not found very many uh, natural pink sheep, so this is kind of cool. Hello, pinky. So I collected an inventory full and a, I filled up my ender chest as well, and we came back here, and I have finished up all of our posts. We got the inside ones all done now. I got that one all done. And I've been playing around with some other design features. Like I put around, I put some like spikes kind of things around on those. Um, I've been playing around with this type of thing around the floor with uh, some gray stained clay. And then stairs on the top and bottom uh, as just some sort of decoration there. Uh, I did the top stairs on the top floor, but I need to do the bottom stairs now. And uh, I turned this whole bottom floor into mycelium. And then AJ questioned the mycelium. And then that made me question the mycelium. I like looked at it, and I gotta say, maybe not. Maybe not. I still, I love the particles of the mycelium. I almost wish it was more purple. But it's a very dull color. And one of the biggest problems is that uh, the brown stained clay and the gray stained clay, it, uh, I mean, they're, those colors are kind of purplish. Like that's, a brown is kind of a, a reddish purplish color. And so when we have that, that dull purple, especially with the gray stained clay, like it almost looks like the same color. And it, it basically looks, like it's in between the gray stained clay and the gray stone. <laughs> so it, it kind of blends together and it doesn't add a lot of contrast, a lot of interest. So I think I'm going to take it out. Um, I was thinking I put down some coarse dirt over on the bottom 
uh, on the bottom floor just to kind of see what that looks like. But I think I might just go back to grass, which I really wish there was a better grass color here. But uh, I think grass is going to be our best option. There's the coarse dirt. Uh, the coarse dirt, the problem with that is that it is brown. And, you know, again, we already have the brown stained clay and we're going to have brown woods. I think I'd rather have green. Uh, you know, you have the green up high with the leaves and then we can also have the green down low. So I'm going to have to go through here again and replace all of this. Um, the way I changed this all to mycelium was I, I hoed it all up, made like an inventory of stone hose and just hoed it all up and uh, just got rid of all the uh, grass source blocks and put down some mycelium and let that spread. So I might, I'll probably just do the same thing again, just hoe it all up and uh, get some grass growing. Um, so I guess, why don't we go up? Let's see, yeah, I have everything that we need. Let's go up and let's put the stairs on the bottom of here. And let's just have a little chat. Uh, we, or I, uh, I've kind of missed a few days of videos. I've not been producing as many videos as I normally do, as as many videos as I like, and I'm, I'm I, I apologize about that. I don't know what I was about to say. That was kind of weird. Apologize. Um, I just, you know, I've been a little unmotivated lately. I guess I don't know why. Uh, it it just you know it comes and goes motivation especially when you're you're just doing this as more of a hobby uh, you just you know you don't feel like doing it like the other weekend um, I was g going to have a live stream I talked about having a grow home second live stream where we do a completionist thing and I ended up not doing anything YouTube related that week weekend in fact I watched uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine. I watched through like most of the series. Well, it's like two seasons, but I watched through most of those two seasons, uh, which is, it's a great show, but it was just, it was a very lazy do nothing weekend. And so didn't get anything done. Didn't get any videos done. And ever since then, like all my videos have basically been planetary confinement. Cause that's a really easy thing to do most of the time. Uh, I think I did a crash landing where I just did some exploration, which again is pretty easy. Um, and did windcraft, which is also, again, pretty easy stuff to do. You just go around and do some quests and stuff. And I know part of it is like I I have been working on this off camera. Uh, like, I, I mean, I started this episode several days ago. Uh, but I've been having some problems with like this, this build. Uh, like it's pretty much done. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's got everything that it needs for a basic tree farm. It's got the platforms, it's got the walls, we got the posts in. Um, I still want to do some sort of, uh, wall around here. And that's kind of what I'm struggling with now. And the thing is, I want it to look really interesting and really cool. And I'm not sure how to do that. And another problem is that I don't want to just do it all off camera but to do something like this, something kind of big and where I don't really know what I want to do, it's really hard to like record. Uh, it's hard to make an episode out of because um, like I don't like making decisions on camera because it usually I'm just sitting there like dumbfounded and can't make up my mind and... Um, Usually, like, whatever I end up doing, I usually change afterwards because I don't like what I did. Uh, kind of like last episode where we made those curves going in there. Uh, I didn't like that. And so after the episode, uh, I took it down, like, pretty quickly because I kind of even knew while I was doing it that it just wasn't going very well and uh, probably not what I was going to do. So it's kind of hard to, like, it's hard to fill time with doing this. Uh, and it's such a big build and like everything that I do, like just putting these stairs here has been, taken a long time just going through here and uh, getting all these stairs facing the right way and um, getting everything the way that I want it and like having to go around even, and like the pillars, making those, having to go and tear down each of the log pillars and then rebuild them in the clay. It takes a lot of time and so it takes a long it's like 
it doesn't seem like I'm getting a lot done on camera, um, but it takes a lot of time off camera <laughs> to do it. And so it, it's just, it's a lot of work to like just get the episode. And then you end up with, you know, a very short episode where you don't have a lot of on camera stuff because you're not, you're not doing stuff uh, besides off camera building. Um, so that's another thing that's been kind of causing some trouble, but I think, I think part of it is I just need to, I just need to work on it and just need to build it. And, uh, one thing is I, I need to get better at just talking while I build and, you know, even just doing stuff like this, you know, we can do some, some mundane building where I know what I want and just talk about stuff, fill up some time, I guess. Uh, you know, hopefully I can entertain you guys with my, with my voice and my words and my, my commentary. I mean, that's kind of why you guys are here, I believe, uh, not only because of the, because of the builds, but also because of the commentary that I add to these videos. I hope, <laughs> I hope that's what, uh, all y'all are into. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's kind of what's been going on um i'm i'm getting a little bit more vo motivated and like i did start getting motivated and then i got sick of course that that seems to happen i feel like i've had that happen a couple of times where i go through like a, a period of not really wanting to make videos and then i want to make videos and then i get sick and then i can't really make videos because it's just it's it's too hard and my voice doesn't want to cooperate and I spend the whole time just coughing and hacking, but, uh, yeah, I kind of had a little bit of a cold, so that put things off. Uh, but yeah, now I, I really want to, I want to get back to things. I want to get back to night owl. Uh, I mean, I want to get this build finished up and I got lots of ideas like that train that I was talking about earlier. And even today I had some ideas while I was, uh, doing some stuff at work. Uh, I had some ideas for some stuff to build around spawn that would be pretty cool. Uh, and then of course we still have like the, the big farms. I still want to do, or we need to get like the guardian farm made. Um, since we, we've taken down the ocean monument and we need to do, uh, a witch farm. I know where, I think I know where a couple of witch, uh, witch huts are. It'd be nice to get one of those made up so you can get some nice glowstone and, gunpowder and redstone from those um but yeah so I've, i have a lot of ideas and a lot of stuff i want to build but we need to get episodes out and get cranking uh to actually get those those builds going and uh also um kind of related uh i've been like one thing one thing that really motivates me uh i don't know if this is the same for other youtubers but watching other people make videos really motivates me. It gets me, gives me ideas, gets me, um, in the mood to make videos. And recently Etho, uh, joined up on the Hermitcraft server and I'm a big fan of Etho's. Been watching him for uh, a little over a year now. And, uh, I like what he does. He's definitely a big inspiration to me. Um, but yeah, just, seeing the tour of Hermitcraft, uh, and seeing what they've done, it's, they have done a lot and it is really amazing. And one thing is like, it really reminded me of, uh, Night Owl season one when we had lots of activity, lots of members, and we just had tons of builds going up around spawn. Um, and it was a lot of fun and I kind of want that back. <laughs> It'd be nice to have that back. It's, you know, Oh, vengeance tech is still on. <laughs> I kind of forgot about that. Uh, but, we don't usually have a lot of activity here on the server, sadly. People are um, getting a little bit less interested in the YouTubes, or uh, I know some people are having computer troubles. Kamikaze's having some computer troubles right now. Uh, and then, of course, school and just work, uh, and people don't have the time to devote or the interest uh, to devote to Night Owl. And so one thing I want to do is I'd like to open up our applications again. We've kind of, we've actually had them sort of open for a while, but I know I've been a little wary of adding new members. Um, 
because with our core group, you know, being kind of inactive, I don't want to bring new people into here and then have them get bored right away because no one's actually playing. But I think I think right now that's kind of what we need to do is we need to bring some new people in, uh, hopefully get some new blood, uh, new new I don't know a new take a new look on the server. I don't know, <laughs> just some new people uh, to hopefully be active and uh, get some stuff going on the server. And so I guess if you guys, um, if you do, if any of you make videos, have a YouTube channel, uh, we do have, I link it below, I think every, I think I still have it linked in the description. If not, I'll, I will be on this video. Um, the, the forum thread or application thread, I think it says applications closed on there in the title, um, but you can still apply. And if you've applied recently, uh, just, you know, post in there again, letting us know that you're still interested if you are, uh, and we will definitely take a look at those. You know, we haven't, we've gotten a few applications over the last several months and, we haven't really taken a look at them at all <laughs> just because we haven't really been looking to add people even if we kind of wanted to we haven't really gotten around to doing that but uh, i know i want to right now get around to doing that and so um yeah that's that's that and i think i'm gonna we're getting almost to the end here so i think i'm just gonna finish this up real quick Maybe we'll get some other stuff done before the episode is over. All right, so before we end the episode, uh, one thing I want to do is I want to figure out uh, what I want to do for these. Um, I, I've been playing around with some ideas, uh, different, different block choices, but it's time to actually put it where it's supposed to be so that we can really see what it's going to look like. So... Um, we got a few different choices here. We got the gray stained clay, which we're using out there. We have brown stained clay, um, or we could use like a wood, like spruce or dark oak. Um, I don't know if I want to use spruce because this I'm not really using spruce. I might use spruce for the walls here because I'm, I'm still thinking of using fences here, and I think those would probably be spruce if I did that. But uh, I don't really want to use spruce up here. I want to use something darker. So let's try this out of the gray stained clay. We're just going to put it up in the ceiling here. And then let's move over and get some more of this. Just chop this down. And we got to destroy the ceiling, that beautiful ceiling that I spent so long crafting. It shall go, at least part of it. Not all of it. It's not. I'm not going to tear the whole thing down. Although, it would be nice to make that out of spruce and dark. No, just kidding. I'm not going to tear that down. Oh, that took forever. Okay. Uh, so, we got, that should be far enough. Yep. Got a few more pieces. Break this out. And then let's see what this clay looks like. Just kind of a, a lighter shade, a more faded version. Yeah, I think it's a little too close. Yeah, that's a little too close. So, that's not going to work. Uh, we need something else. Uh, so, we could try the brown stained clay. That's definitely going to give us a different shade of brown. Uh, it's going to be a, a, quite a bit brighter than this gray stained clay. So let's try this. Uh, I'm just not sure if this is going to like match at all or if it's going to kind of clash a bit. So how about that? That's not bad. Adds a little bit of contrast. Hmm. I almost wonder if I should go with a different color of clay, like green. I like green. <laughs> uh... I kind of want to stick with the brown, though. Oh, and it shows there. Let's try the dark oak. Because um, that's our third option that I have with me. Uh, so we'll try that real quick. I'm kind of thinking the dark oak might be good. It'd be nice to have that texture, too. Because, uh, I mean, the big problem with the clay is that uh, it doesn't have a texture to it. It's very plain. It's basically just a 
solid color, which is definitely nice for some things. But for this, I feel like we need some sort of texture going on. And this might carry carry over you know, our, our rings that we have going around uh, the outside. So how about that? Oh, yeah. I think I like that. Let's go outside just a bit, kind of see it. I think that's going to be our best option. And the best thing is that uh, when we have those corners like right there, it's still going to blend in. So yeah, I think that is what we're going to go with. I think we're actually going to go with something like this. With the uh, spruce in the corners. And then we'll have the dark oak here. And connecting that post to that post. And then we'll have the spruce again going from those two to that one. I think that looks pretty good. And it'll add some, some contrast, some difference going around the circle. That should look pretty nice. Uh, but I think that's all we're going to do today. I hope you have enjoyed. Um, sorry for the kind of serious talk, but I felt like uh, felt like I owed it to you after you know not having too many videos out lately. Uh, especially since I've been getting a fairly good response from the YouTube community. I've been getting a lot of views and uh, my subscribers have been, has been climbing quite a bit recently. Um, I'm getting near 800 already which is pretty amazing and pretty awesome like I feel like I was just talking about well I don't think I even mentioned getting past 700 in a video because uh, I don't think I was making a whole lot of videos at the time so I didn't really have anywhere to talk about it but uh, yeah thank you very much for watching for your support I hope you have enjoyed um, next episode uh, we will probably work on this a little bit but I do want to start something else uh, not sure what uh, we will start on next, but um, I do want uh, I do want some more variety going on because we've been working too long on this thing. Uh, but yes, make sure to leave a like down below if you enjoy the video, and I will see you next time. Goodbye, peoples.